the well-known GTA 6 leaks suggest that a new cooperative mode may exist. Yes, you heard correctly, and it appears more plausible than we had initially thought. A Reddit user going by the handle Tubin30 recently posted new discoveries that completely alter how we can play the game's plot. So, what exactly is the leak? This rumor stems from a few video clips that seem to show what looks to be a player action manager that highlights cooperative gameplay between the two characters in the game. Different in-game activities that are available for multiple players. For instance, if you were swimming in the water, the manager would comment that you couldn't jump because you can't jump while swimming. This is just a method of determining the player's capabilities in those situations. Now that you know what that means, this player manager, which has five distinct sections, can be seen in a video where Jason alternates between standing and prone in a gray box environment. Action plan, action context in scenarios from the source he states, conditioned behaviors. However, as far as we are aware, the leaks only expose the contents of the section on the action list. In that section in particular, the actions are linked to a status that seems to be based on the character's behavior during particular situations in the leaked video, which shows the character Jason standing still in an open environment. The actions that have a valid status are those that Jason can perform while in this state. While there is room for a detailed analysis of many of these actions, for now let's concentrate on those that allude to cooperative gameplay. For instance, the existence of downed self-revive and downed self-suicide actions implies that a character may be downed in some manner. Reviving raises the prospect of cooperative gaming. When a player is downed and there isn't another player nearby to save them, they may quickly end their own life by downing themselves. Only game wouldn't typically have, but the buddy communications action, which piques players' curiosity even more, is even more be sorry. Since it would be odd to refer to the two main characters as buddies in the game story, the word buddy may be a code word for another cooperative player. The usage of buddy in this context could also refer to voice chat, buddy ping suggestions, location tagging, or other forms of communication between the two players, items for the opposing player. The problem is that having this feature in a single player game makes no sense whatsoever, and other leaked materials support the theory that cooperative gameplay is possible. Videos like the one with Jason strolling through the club suggest that Lucia may be under the control of another Rockstar employee, possibly testing the co-op features, since her movements don't exactly resemble AI behavior. This could indicate a variety of things. There have been more rumors regarding a share. It begs the question, why would Rockstar Games even add a co-op mode, given that there has never been anything like this before? There are a few reasons why. Firstly, a lot of successful games in recent years have emphasized cooperative gameplay. One example is Halo Infinite. The inventory function that was spotted in the leaks could of course just be a way to share inventory between the two main characters. However, this would make more sense if used in a multiplayer aspect, which is well known for its story mode multiplayer experience. Additionally, the popularity of multiplayer gaming has grown in the industry, and Rockstar Games may want to capitalize on this trend. One advantage of cooperative gaming is that it allows for more story development because the player can also offer opportunities for a more players of the dynamic story could complete the game's missions together and make decisions that could alter how it is played. One interesting feature that could be added as a result is the ability to assume different roles within the plot. Though it's unclear if this would actually work in Grand Theft Auto, what people are saying about this new information is that, while I'm not saying you're wrong, I think this may point to something else. For instance, when we are playing as Jason, we can use buddy communications. This could include specialized roles like driving, shooting, or hacking, and the players would need to play together. Additionally, this often increases the replayability of games. This is a really fair point, and it could be true because by now the AIS are probably way better than 10 years ago, meaning they could possibly have more abilities and can interact better with objects someone else says as long as it gives us the option of single player or multiplayer story mode. Not to mention that buddy ping to point Lucia to an object of interest like a civvy cash register car enemy or some other thing that we want them to interact with down states indicate that it's possible to survive normal mortal wounds and have our companion pick us up. Not everyone wants to play story mode with someone else, but some of us do enjoy it. Everyone has someone to play with. 
Even though it's difficult to imagine a GTA game with cooperative gameplay, the leaks suggest otherwise, we should have the option to play GTA Online alone. As for forcing cooperative gameplay, well, that's the whole point of multiplayer games like Halo Infinite. If you want to play cooperatively, then by all means do so. But if you prefer to play alone, which will be the majority of the time, then we should have that option. Tell me in the comments section below whether you think there should be more GTA 6 videos or if they are boring.